In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a subscription on Stripe. So here I am in my Stripe homepage. What you need to do is you need to go to the plus icon in the top right hand corner to this create button. Once you've done that, you'll be then given some options. And what we want to do is click on the recurring charge, the subscription. So click on that and it will open up this window where it will then ask you to create a subscription. Now I'm creating a test subscription. It may be a little bit different for you, but the exact choices will be the same. Now what you can do, you can set up a subscription for a new customer or an existing customer. I'm just going to create a customer. We'll, we'll say we're creating a subscription here for Josh Smith. So we can then add Josh Smith as a person. You can add in their email address. So Josh Smith at gmail.com. You can add the description of this customer. You don't have to add that, uh, but I would just add their name and email address. And then you can also add their billing information as well. This is just going to be for your records. Uh, you can add in their phone number, their name and their currency. But once you've added all of the information that you require, click add customer and you will have that customer right. And now we're creating a subscription for that customer. So here we've got the duration. Now, if you click on that, you can choose the duration of this subscription. So it's going to be from today's date and it's going to be forever unless they cancel it. Now, if you want to build them monthly in six cycles, obviously click on that. If you want one cycle, click on that as well. And you can see you've got all of these different cycles that you can build people on. And these are going to be monthly cycles. You can also do custom if you want to build them for longer. But let's say you want a three month trial and you want to subscribe them to a three month trial. We will click three cycles and there you can see it will last until the 13th of Feb. So now you want to add your product. So let's say this is YouTube channel management. So we'll enter that in here, YouTube channel management, and that'll be one quantity. You want to make sure you click here, add it as a new product. You can add a description as well. For me, I'm just going to copy the name. You don't have to add a description. You can also upload a image, make sure it says recurring. And then here you've got the amount. Now this is going to be the amount per bill. So say we want to charge for this hundred pounds every month. Now, if you want to change it to different currencies, you can do that here, but I'm just going to choose GBP monthly billing period, which is good for me. We can then add product. So now this will be billed every month all the way until the 13th of Feb. You can then go ahead and add a free trial if needed. And here you can see on the payment automatically charge a payment method on file. Now, if the customer doesn't have any valid payment methods on file, um, which you can add, by the way, you can also change it to email invoice to the customer. So every 30 days, they will have an invoice and they'll be able to pay it. And it will include all of these payment links. So you can set that up however you like, whatever works great for you. Then you've got here your invoice template, but we don't have to do that. It will just be the normal one. If you don't create one, then click schedule subscription because I'm on test mode. It's going to say schedule test subscription. So here is that subscription. So now you've got all of your subscriptions and now every month, basically based on the status and based on how long you've created the subscription for, it will then send an invoice to that customer where they can then pay it. And that will go on for as long as you set it up for. If you wanted to cancel it on your end, you can go to the three dots. You can then either pause the subscription or cancel it here. And that's how you set it up. I hope that helped.